Hey everyone, this is Don with My Crypto Playground. Thanks for joining me today. I am excited about this video because we are going to do a walkthrough and tutorial of the new Solidify wallet for Flare Songbird and XRP that just came out either late last night or today. And today is uh, Wednesday, December 14th. And before we get started, I want to let you know None of this is financial advice. I'm just showing you guys uh, all the cool things that are happening on Songbird Flare Networks. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I'm just showing you what I'm doing with mine. So let's get back to it. Solidify Wallet. I've been waiting for this actually for a few weeks now uh, to come out because obviously all of us that are in the Songbird Network and soon to be Flare, where our wallets have, are kind of limited in terms of just using Bifrost, which is actually a great, great wallet. And then after that, we have Decent Wallet as a hardware and then MetaMask. So this right here, what's awesome about the Solidify wallet is, before I get into like too much or give away too much, is I just feel like it has so much more information and so much more features that's specific to Flare and Songbird that I think it's gonna eventually blow all the other wallets away. But before we get started on this, I wanna show you the quick video that Solidify has, they put on their Twitter. And uh, yeah, let's check that out real quick. Wow, so awesome, right? Um, yeah, I don't even know where to begin on this. Uh, let's go to their Twitter page where this morning they said, hey, it's here. We're excited to announce the launch of the new XRP Songbird Flare app, Solidify Wallet. Earn rewards with the upcoming Flare airdrop, manage your XRP trust lines, view your portfolio, NFTs, price info, and handpick news. So just a couple of um, bullet points here are some of the kind of things that kind of jumped at me from their thread uh, for the iPhone app. And I believe it's only available for iPhone. They're asking, hey, is it worth 99 cents? Well, it, actually, it's worth more. We're charging for a period of time to bootstrap the platform. Eventually, we'll, we hope to make the app free for all. You also go on to say, important thing to keep in mind, Solidify is a brand new application. We're tech savvy, so don't worry. We're gone through extensive testing rounds. Nonetheless, we do advise some caution at first that there might be glitches still lurking around. And you should also know that right now, the app does not, for now, support sending NFTs or any other assets other than those on the XRP, SGB, and Flare networks. At least until they've properly looked into building support for other assets and the app uh, allow, or the app stores allow it. And um, they're also launching in a few countries at a time. So within a few, a 24 hour period, starting with the US, UK, the European Union, UAE and Australia. And we will enable more countries tomorrow once we made sure everything is perfect. And so finally, they'll be posting a roadmap later this week and they've got some pretty cool things up their sleeves. And first thing I asked them, because as I was going through this was, is there a web browser, web three browser? And they said, that's coming soon. So I'm excited about that. So let's get back, let's get into actually 
the uh, features on this wallet. Let's see if I can find the wallet right here. So I've downloaded it here on my iPhone and this is kind of what you see when you first um, download the app or open the app. You can see all the, they have prices for XRP, Songbird and Flare. And please note that this Flare price is actually the price for the IOU that's currently trading on BitTrue right now. So today on this video, we're just gonna focus on the Songbird uh, portion of this wallet. And then what's kind of great about this is like I was telling you before, it's not just a wallet, it actually has a lot of information that it can that it presents to you that you kind of have a one-stop shop here. Um, if you hit the portfolio tab down here in the bottom, so far right now we don't have anything, so that's not gonna show anything. The media portion of it is really cool because it has a Twitter tab that kind of shows you anything Flare and Songbird related. The YouTube tab shows you or aggregates a lot of information from Flare Community, Mickey B Fresh, and also from Legal Briefs for XRP. But those are pretty much like the top two content creators for Flare Songbird Community at the moment. And then all the news regarding um, crypto, Songbird, XRP, and Flare and whatnot. So that's what's really awesome. And then bottom last tab on here is all the settings for the app. And so before we get into that, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna create a wallet and show you all the different features. My number one love on this wallet is that you can have actually multiple wallets on this app as opposed to Bifrost, which like I said, I totally love, but I hate the fact that you can only have one wallet at a time. And even though for us, um, for a lot of us that are delegating to different FTSOs or just kind of spreading out um, your funds across multiple wallets, it's really hard to manage it with Bifrost because you can only access on mobile one at a time. So if you go here back to the homepage, you can see the accounts tab right under the price. If you hit that right now, it says zero. If you click on that, so you have four options when you start a new wallet. This is, and I've never seen this before on anything. They have one where it's track only. So if you put a address on there, all you can do is see the, the activity that's going on in there and what it's holding. You can't actually do anything as far as uh, transactions or anything like that. Then second, you can create a whole new wallet. You can also import a wallet using a private key or seed. And then lastly, you can use a recovery phrase for to also import another wallet, which is really awesome. So today what we're gonna do is for this demonstration, we are going to create a wallet and I'm also going to track a wallet as well. So let's hit this to create a whole new wallet. And we are just gonna put test for this one, testing, done, and then save that. And then once you once that does, it goes to this warning screen, which basically tells you before it moves on, it's going to show you your private key. So make sure that once this key shows up, obviously I'm gonna trash this wallet after this tutorial is done. But for you, if you're actually gonna use this as your main wallet or one of your wallets, make sure that um, you treat your private key just like you would your 12 word seed phrase, because this particular wallet doesn't give you a seed phrase. It just gives you a private key. So once you understand that, you want to check this box right here. And then it generates a private key for your Songbird wallet. Make sure you copy that and put it somewhere, write it down somewhere where only you have access to, like I said, treat this like you would your 12 word seed phrase. Once that's done, you want to click back, go home. It'll ask you one more time. If you saved your key, you say yes. Go back to accounts right there. And then now you can see your wallet right here. So this is, um, yeah, this is where you're at right here, which is really cool. What's awesome is they're focusing mostly on this. Like the first page is delegating. So it makes it easy for you. You don't have to, there's not as many steps to get to delegating or finding out 
uh, what epoch you're in or epic depends on who you are uh, when it started when it ends and then how much longer until that particular uh, epoch ends and then it also tell you what your rewards are you can claim directly from here and then also you can manage your delegations right from here as well then once you click assets up here this is where your nfts and all your tokens will show this is your transaction history right here and then if you hit extra you can kind of go through um, it'll have you can use this FIP 1.0 simulator for those of, I'm not going to get into that but for those of you who know you can use that to see if especially if you import one of your wallets you can see how much flare you'll get over the next three years if um, FIP 1.0 passes and then you can also remove your account from here and also view your wallet from the Explorer so that's it really um, in a nutshell obviously right here if you hit receive up top you can see your wallet address and then you can also send from here you've got an address book which is really cool you can just create one from there then also how much um, how much sgb you want to send another great thing i love about this wallet is it always you can only send well, even though you say maximum, it still holds back, withholds one SGB just so that you have enough to make transactions. And I know for those of you who have been using Bifrost, that's kind of been something that we've all made that mistake at least once, either wrapping all of it or sending all of it and not having anything left to uh, use for the transaction. So that right there is, um, that's, your, that's your fresh brand new wallet. Let's go back to the home page. What I want to show you is, uh, let's see, if you go to the, see that plus sign up there in the upper right hand corner, you hit that. And this is how you can add more wallets to the app. And so what I want to do this one is I want to do a track only. So you want to hit that and then I am going to enter in the address for the my YouTube wallet that I've been that you guys know if you've been following me this is where i kind of do all my transactions for my for my uh, channel so and i have it all saved up right here on my shortcut so that acts that's been found let's save that and as you can see now it shows two accounts under songbird so here's the here's the thing, my absolute favorite part about this wallet you hit accounts and then now you can see all your wallets so, and I think right here, I just now saw this account's two of seven. So I guess maybe you can only put seven wallets on there. I'm not sure for right now, but as uh, I'm sure as, as this app matures, you can do more. So here's the cool thing. So let's go check out my YouTube wallet right here. So as you can see, this one actually has funds in it. You can see what I'm doing. I've got, I got my songbird up here and my rap songbird under assets. You can see here I have, it shows you my NFTs for this particular wallet. And then I'll show you my coins there. And then that's what we got here. And it's kind of funny because I've seen, I see some of these coins up here, like this NFTP, uh, I think the I think the NFTP that's that's legit right there. This but this rat flare, I think that's definitely a scammy coin. Um, then PSB, those are all coins I have on this part, in this wallet, and also the Infinity token. That's all good. But if you any of you guys see this rat flare, please um please disregard that token because that's a scam token because obviously flare hasn't even been distributed yet. But yeah, here we are. As you can see, it says track only up there. Look, all the transactions are downloaded on here so you can see what's up. But that's it really. But on this wallet, look, you can't do anything. I'm trying to hit delegation, anything like that, and can't do anything. All you can do is look and see what, what's in that wallet. But that's really cool because you, know, you don't have to log in and out of so many different wallets. As you can see, here's some information on the, on the NFTs cool and um yeah going back and then that is it obviously if you want to like i said if you want to create and add a new wallet 
if you have some of your accounts on MetaMask, um, since uh, you can, MetaMask kicks out the private seed phrase, which actually I'll show you right now. Yeah, let me get back to here. Yeah, so if you go to MetaMask, right here, you guys are familiar with this. You just hit the three dots right up here that's um, on the app and then hit account details. And then if you hit export private key and type in your pass password, it'll kick out your private key and then that private key is what you would put, enter into, um, into the app. So very easy, very convenient. That's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really super stoked about that feature right there. And um, now now that we've kind of gone through the, uh, like I said, it's a quick walkthrough on, the, on starting a new wallet or watching a wallet on the app. Let's show you what's going on with the web app. So if you go to solidify.app, you can, all the things that you can do on on um, the app you can do on here and all the information is actually on here as well so if you go here you can see you know the, the website a new platform is born at solidify we specialize in blockchain applications specifically for xrp songbird and flare and um yeah at solidify we specialize in blockchain applications for Songbird Flare XRP, we aim to provide useful apps for the respective communities. Communities. Here are a few highlights. SGB and Flare Observation Nodes, FTSO Data Provider, Online Delegation App, which we're on right now, and also the mobile app, which I showed you earlier. And they're also an FTSO Data Provider. Here are the prices that they are providing. And if you go to the dashboard up top, you can see here all the prices, what's going on with your wallet. Um, you can wrap delegate see what your rewards are your wallet and then they also have a feature here that you can donate um, to the um, to the app itself because they say you can contribute to the development and growth of our ecosystems because servers are costly investments but with your help we can set up a server that's hosted for and by the community and you can donate if you want to via XRP, SGB, or Flare. And then there's a uh, frequently asked questions page on here as well. So check that out if you want any more information on it. So yeah, guys, that's it. I just thought I'd do a quick recap or a quick tutorial and walkthrough on the new Solidify um, app for Songbird and Flare. I'm really excited about it because um, you know, I'm always on my phone. I'm always checking it. You guys, are, you guys are probably like me, always checking your stuff. And so it's nice to have something a little bit more unified where everything that you're looking for is on one wallet. And then especially for all of you that are very um, into on the XRP ledger with trust lines, NFTs, all that. Now you don't have to talk between your Bifrost wallet and your Zum wallet. So anyway, I'll probably do a, a bigger, deeper dive into all the features on this once I've actually put in all my wallets and, uh, and checked it out better myself. And then I will give you guys updates on what's going on with the app as it comes in. So thanks for joining me today and uh, enjoy playing around with your new Solidify wallet. See you guys later. Bye.